Civil service examinations were used in Imperial China to fill in government positions. In the Tang Dynasty, the passing rate of these tests was about 2%. Many people were known to repeatedly take and fail these exams. Pu Songling was one of those people. He wrote about the emotional roller coaster of preparing, taking the exams, waiting to see if you pass, learning whether or not you pass, being angry if you don't pass, then preparing again. A licentiate taking the provincial examination may be likened to seven things. One entering the examination hall, barefooted and carrying a basket, he is like a beggar. At roll call time, being shouted at by officials and abused by the subordinates, he is like a prisoner. When riding in a cell with his head and feet sticking out of the booth, he is like a cold bee in late autumn. Upon leaving the examination hall, being in a daze and seeing a changed universe, he is like a sick bird out of a cage. When anticipating the results, he is on pins and needles. One moment, one moment he fantasizes success and magnificent mansions are instantly built. Another moment he feels failure and his body is reduced to a corpse. At this point, he is like a chimpanzee in captivity. Finally, the messengers come on galloping horses and confirm the absence of his name on the list of successful candidates. His complexion becomes ashen and his body stiffens like a poisoned fly, no longer able to move. Disappointed and discouraged, he vilifies the examiners for their blindness and blames the unfairness of the system. Thereupon, he collects all his books and papers from his desk and sets them on fire. Unsatisfied, he tramples over the ashes. Still unsatisfied, he throws the ashes into a filthy gutter. He is determined to abandon the world by going into the mountains, and he is resolved to drive away any person who dares speak to him about examination essays. With the passage of time, his anger subsides and his aspiration rises. Like a turtle dove just hatched, he rebuilds his nest and starts the process once again.